Let's take a look at uh, the live temperatures across the Bay Area. Some areas are uh, reaching triple digits there. And of course, we have team coverage tracking everything heat related. We've got Charles Clifford in Walnut Creek, where some parks are close to the extreme heat. And Teresa Estacio was in Danville for us, keeping an eye on power outages impacting customers there. But let's get started with Crom 4 meteorologist Kyla Grogan to get a look at those current conditions, Kyla. Hey there, yeah. So I wanted to start with some of the records we broke yesterday and some of the highs we hit. San Rafael hit a record at 108. No record in Concord, but 107. Santa Rosa also beat a record at 106. You can see Livermore got up to 106. Napa, 103. And San Jose tied a record at 102. Well, where are we today? We're off to the races again. You can see this triple-digit heat just intense in the Inner East Bay. But also, we're at 102 in Santa Rosa right now, 101 in San Jose, and even Hayward sitting at 98 degrees. Take a look at Oakland right now, sitting at 94. Downtown San Francisco at 75. So, not surprising. We are certainly under these excessive heat warnings and heat advisories. And as you can see, they have now been extended, a majority of them, through 11 p.m. next Wednesday. The only exception to that rule really is San Francisco, which is only under that heat advisory at the moment until Thursday evening. But of course, we've seen some of these things change as we go along. Also, I'm monitoring some offshore wind yet again. You can see the direction there is from the north, and that it brings us some fire concerns. You can see some of this picking up a little bit into the teens as we head into our afternoon and so of course we have a lot of red flag warnings still and we've seen some of this start to update as well so this fire danger continuing let's take a look at the north bay where the coastal mountains are still just under the red flag warning through 5 a.m on friday morning but we've extended this now to saturday evening on the inner north bay mountains and hills so you can see in those areas and then if you're in solano county that one is uh, still the same as it was yesterday but if we head down to uh, parts of the inner east bay and then into the Santa Cruz Mountains. That, too, has now been updated to go through 9 p.m. on Saturday. So just indication that that fire danger is certainly going to be with us as this heat remains. I'll be back in a little bit, and we'll talk about when maybe we see a break in the end of this heat wave.